next guest decided to lift up sports of the 1970s so that highlights are not forgotten. He's written a book called Fond Memories from the Forgettable Past. I have it right here. My guest is author Jim Milano. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. You're an attorney. Is this your first book? It is my first book, absolutely, yes. Why did you write it about the sports of that decade? Well, most of the events in there are approaching or are about to approach their 50th anniversary. So I, I thought it was time. And, and I'm a child of the 70s, and so I have kind of a soft Me spot. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a soft spot for the decade. And, you know, the 60s are always lauded as such a great decade. And people talk about the go-go 80s. And the 70s always gets kind of short shrift. And I, I thought, you know, tell the story where the 70s was more than Watergate and gas lines and polyester leisure suits. All right, what did you put in the book? What are the highlights we should not forget? Well, there's a lot, there's a lot of mix. There's personal stories, so it's a bit of a memoir. So it's my journey as kind of a Pirates, Yankees, and Pittsburgh Steelers fan, because I do have, I have family in uh, southwestern Pennsylvania as well. So it talks about kind of the first baseball game I ever attended, which was a Yankee game with my father. The first time my mother had to take me, um, you know, navigating the streets of the Bronx to get down there. First trip to Three Rivers, uh, playoff games, the famous Chris Chambliss home run game that I was at, and of course the Thurman Munson uh, Memorial game. Okay, funny moments, you put some of those in, in this book as well. Absolutely, most of the funny moments involved the friends I grew up with in high school. Give me so, a little taste. <laughs> well, we talk about a trip to the Jersey Shore that we, had, we wanted to make during the Munson Memorial weekend, and a friend of mine and I had to work the overnight shift at Pathmark uh, to try and get off for the weekend in order to go to Wildwood, New Jersey. And of course, you know, the manager was kind of cool with us. He was okay. But, you know, rather than do our work, we kind of sat around, dumped everything on U-boats and hit him in the back of the uh, <laughs> box. But so you could go do your thing. That was our scheme to get, be able to go to Wildwood, yeah. All right, what do people who, who don't know about sports in the 70s, what are they missing out on if they're just coming up, you know, as a, as a kid? Well, I think and that's one of the reasons I wrote it. It really is a sports history, too. So if, you, if you're from the 70s or you have a parent or a grandparent from the 70s, it's easy. But I think just as a sports fan, you'll enjoy the history there. There are some classic moments. Sorry, Red Sox fans. I do talk about okay. the Bucky Dent game. You know, I, I, you, can't, you can't not talk about the 70s and talk about that. But it, it is a full history. Whether even you're a Cowboys fan or a Raiders fan, you know, my teams, the Pirates and the Steelers and the Yankees, you know, went head-to-head -head with those during that during those years. Did you have to do a lot of research, or was it all up here that you remembered it? No, I did a lot of research. In other words, you know, the, the moment was, was clear to me, the first game I went to. But did I know who was pitching, or did, I knew the Yankees won, but tell me about the day of that game. I knew George Brett had hit a home run to tie the game in that crazy playoff game, but I didn't know everything that happened around it. So there's a lot of statistics, a lot of research, but it's told in a narrative way, so I think it keeps it interesting. So is there another book in you about sports, or is this it? Well, it's, it's interesting. I wrote another 12 to 15,000 words about basketball, hockey, boxing, golf, and a bunch of other Olympic sports, and I found the book was getting a little too unwieldy. So I put those 12, 15,000 words I'm feeling aside. a sequel. So it might happen. Fond <laughs> memories, too. Well, thank you for putting this all together for people that don't know what happened in the 70s sports-wise. A sports fan's attempt to rehabilitate the 1970s fond memories from the forgettable decade. Jim Milano, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You bet. And if you'd like to know more about this book, go to WTNH.com or the News 8 app.